Hello. Hi, everybody. Kayla Lord. John Brownstone. Of Loving BDSM, where we help kinksters like you have happy, healthy power exchange relationships. Uh, in some, but not all, power exchanges, uh, people have punishments. Yes. As an answer to what do you do if a submissive does not do what they said they would do. So we thought we would talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. We have fluctuated with punishments over our relationship. Yes. Uh, our way, not the only way. Uh, if you think about the idea of punishment and a power exchange and are like, eh, eh, no, thank you. Cool. Uh, it is not for everyone. It is not required in power exchange. It is not even effective for some people. Um, but it is something that gets talked about a lot. Correct. So we thought we'd talk about how we handle it for us. How do we handle it for us? Um, well, of, of late, one of the most effective things that I have found with you is um, just to say, girl, you've disappointed me. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we should probably start with the way we see punishment. For me, an effective punishment is the same for parenting as it is for kink. Mm -hmm. It should reiterate the fact that mm, this was not the right thing to do, but also it should be something you want to actively avoid. Like it should yeah. be bad enough that you're like, I would really rather not do that. So we don't do punishment. Now in a kinky scene when we're playing around, we might do punishment. Yeah. But punishment, which is a fun thing that you do something quote, air quote, wrong in order to get punished for, that's not what we're talking about here. Punishment is for you did something wrong or... Something you you didn't do. Right. And now you have to be reminded that there are consequences for... Your actions. Right. And that's what we're talking about here. Right. And yes, telling me that you're disappointed in me really does work for me. Yes. I know that doesn't work for everybody. Some yeah. people are like, okay. But I'm like, no, I'm the worst yeah. person ever. Now, early on in our relationship, we used punishment we quite a bit. did and we did that in a long distance relationship yes and yes you can if that's what you want mm -hmm. do punishment and consequences in a long distance relationship it requires a lot of trust yeah and a willingness on the part of the submissive to do things that they would really rather not do because of their own sort of personal sense of integrity and what their sense of right and wrong in our relationship I agreed that there could be consequences if I screwed up. Mm -hmm. And so even though you were not there to actually hand out those consequences, I had to do it and then show you proof that I had done it. Right. The showing of the proof is the easy way around some of the saying you did something that you didn't do. Yeah. But I wanted to be a person you could trust. And it was for me, it was about my own sense of honor. Like mm -hmm. you you said that this was your expectation. I agreed to it. And now I screwed up. And this felt like the right thing to do to enforce the punishment you could not be there for. Yeah. And we, we used various forms of punishment mm -hmm. at that time. Um, you, at that time, you were very active on Tumblr. Mm -hmm. That that was a fun outlet for you. Back when you could be if you Back were a when, kinky person. Yeah. And... Um, that was one thing you were, uh, one of the punishments was you were suspended from using your, your Tumblr. Mm -hmm. And for, again, I could have hidden that, but what yeah. if you had caught me? Right. Then I would have broken the trust between us mm -hmm. and it wasn't worth it to mm -hmm. me. Um, there were things such as lines. Yeah, um, writing lines. Mm -hmm. Denying you specific treats. Mm -hmm. You know, your mm -hmm. special coffees or, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So, you know, those those were all things that, that we did. Mm -hmm. We even did, and some people do this and some people don't. Some people are like sort of horrified by it, but if it works, it works. Uh, we did the whole, not just kneeling in the corner. Corner time is a right. fairly common in our sphere kind of punishment. Mm -hmm. um, but it was kneeling on things that would make the kneeling more painful or holding a position in such a way, like keep the quarter on the wall with your nose. Yes. And you would make me do it in a kneeling position, mm -hmm. which is not the same as standing on your two flat feet. <laughs> um, I've knelt on rice. Sandpaper. I've knelt on sandpaper. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to go down those roads, be very aware of what happens in those situations. The longer you kneel on rice, the more the rice gets embedded in your knees. 
quite painful. The real punishment is when you have to flick the rice out. Out of the skin. Out of the skin. And do it for too long and you could hurt somebody. Yeah. You know, somebody could be injured. Yeah. Um, you're not trying to actually inflict injury. You're trying to sort of hammer home a consequence of right. you screwed up here. This is what happens that you consented to. And I think that's an important part of the conversation about punishment. Mm -hmm. Both sides have to consent to that. Correct. Um, and in our opinion... Uh, punishments should not be arbitrary and they should not be made up out of thin air the moment you need them. Punishments no. are like any other kink activity. You talk about them before you do them. So part of the conversation is, are we going to have punishment and consequences as part of our power mm -hmm. exchange? If we are, what will that look like? When will that happen? How will it be enforced? And what will those punishments be? And a submissive gets to say, I do not consent to that kind of punishment. Right. Very recently, so let me backtrack here. Because spankings are totally our jam, I was under the <laughs> mistaken impression that a spanking would never be an effective punishment mm -hmm. for me because I love a spanking. Even when I hate a spanking, I love a spanking. Right. Because after we were no longer long distance, mm -hmm. um, spanking came up on the table as as a punishment. And I was we like, together. whatever. Yes, she was. She was like... I'm I'm a masochist. I like pain. Go Whatever. ahead and spank me. Try that is it. not going to be a punishment. Challenge accepted. And then it was, and I was like, <laughs> that was the worst spanking of my life. I don't ever want to go through that again. And so then, <laughs> the way that works, if if a consequence is effective, I did not repeat that behavior, right. so I did not have to go through that spanking again. But that being said, there was a night we were arguing, and a legit argument, like couples fighting argument mm -hmm. and you were like maybe i should just spank you as a punishment and for the first time in our entire relationship we've known each other since 2012 i went you don't get to do that i do not consent to that because the argument yeah. we were having was not within our power exchange it was very much a higher level two people relating to an issue that was not directly impacted by our power exchange. Mm -hmm. And and it was, you threw it out in mm. anger, and that's a thing about punishment. And I, I, we re I remember about. that argument, and, and part of my, my think, thought process at that time was because you were so disrespectful to me in that mm -hmm. argument. Mm -hmm. And if we had been, if the situation had been different and I had been disrespectful, I would have consented to it. I wouldn't have liked it, but it would have consented to it. But there was something about that situation mm -hmm. that in the middle of the moment, it did not feel right to me. Right. And yeah. so I withdrew consent for that. And mm -hmm. I was like, no, we're going to talk this out. We, we don't get to punish our way out of this one. Yeah. This is a thing we have to deal with. So that's important to remember that there will be those times when a person who you're submissive was like, yeah, we can, we can have this as part of our power exchange. And in a moment, they may go, oh, heck no, we can't. What that means, if that happens, is that after everything's settled, you have to have a conversation about what it was in that moment and why it happened. Because is it mm -hmm. that the dominant overstepped a little bit and wanted to throw out a punishment when that was not the appropriate response? Or was this a moment of, it would have been an appropriate response within the power exchange, but something about it the submissive was not comfortable with. Does that mean maybe you're not comfortable with punishment? That's okay. Yeah. But one thing that I've always appreciated about you, and it was why I could allow us to have this part of the dynamic, was that your, your philosophy on punishment, you do not punish in anger, in the midst no. of the heated moment. Right. And, and that, that's something to me that, that's always been very important because, you know, uh, everybody gets angry. It, it's, it's, it's a valid human emotion. Mm -hmm. um, but when things are done in anger, it's too easy to do things that you can regret later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially there's the trust in the relationship. There's if it's a physical punishment. Mm -hmm. If you do it out of anger, are you going to go too hard? Are you going right. to accidentally hurt your partner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that, that kind of goes in into the thing too. You know, if things do get to that point, there, there always is a cooling off period. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I will say, you know, when it comes to punishment, one thing I have never done with you as well is, you know, if you did something that warranted a punishment today, I am not going to wait three, four days down the road and let mm -mm. that sit and then punish you for it. Right. You know, it, it's usually within the same day 
or two days. Yeah, or or two days hours. tops. Or, you know, I'll say, well, okay, you're going to be punished for that. Um, you know, you got a spanking coming your way. Can't do it today, but tomorrow. Right. And I always know what it's for. I always know. Usually I know when it happens. I know what I did wrong. I know what rule mm-hmm. I broke. I know that I spoke disrespectfully. I know what I did. But when right. it's time for the punishment, it's very clear. This is this punishment, spanking, corner time, whatever we choose. Those are our two go-tos, mm-hmm. by the way, spanking and corner time. Um, this is happening because of this behavior, of this action. You spoke disrespectfully. You um, forgot all of your deadlines and you or you broke this very explicit rule. Now, a yeah. lot of people always like to ask, well, what kind of punishments and how do you pick a punishment and how do you know something is punishment worthy? And that's super complicated. It is. Because <laughs> it's personal. Yeah. My thought on punishment is it needs to be something that does not actually harm the other person mentally, right. emotionally, physically, but is something that can act as a deterrent. Because if what you want is to act, both of you, is to actually experience the punishment. Now we're talking about punishment. If you if it's something you want to avoid, but you also want to, especially as a dominant, mm-hmm. help perpetuate a specific behavior in your submissive, then whatever that punishment is needs to be unpleasant to the person who will receive it. A spanking that does not feel good is unpleasant. Putting me in the corner is unbearable. Right. I'm out of the action. I'm being ignored. I can't talk to anybody, and I don't know what's going on around me, and I don't like it. <laughs> right, and and that that is something you know that has come into play in that we haven't really needed to do a lot of punishment because there are times she starts pushing that line, she starts pushing that line, and I will look at her and I'll be, you know, baby girl, you are getting really, really close to having some time in the corner. And it's those words that are enough to make me most of the time go, Ooh, because it's a deterrent. <laughs> the way we, I think, look at punishment is not to go out and punish. It is to set an expectation of behavior mm-hmm. and hopefully keep me on track for that behavior. Right. In general, most of the time, it's about speaking with respect and being thoughtful. And of the very few things that you ask me to do that we've agreed as part of our power exchange, that I continue doing them. Or if I cannot, I communicate with you and, and mm-hmm. say why I cannot. Not that I just disregard the rules we've set in our power exchange. Yeah. And if that's another thing to watch for with punishment, if that's what punishment mutually means to both partners in the power exchange and the submissive partner is consistently having punishment happen, that's worthy of a conversation because is it that that person's seeking punishment and it's Mm -hmm. an activity or a thing that they enjoy and they think this is the only way they can get it? Is it that they are um, pushing against rules or restrictions or expectations that no longer suit them, that no longer fit Um, in a if what you want is to constantly be punishing a submissive because that's fun, then I think you're looking more at punishment, in my opinion. Yeah. In general, if you want punishment to be a consequence for, quote, bad behavior, then you want it to act as a deterrent because what you want is the good behavior. That's ultimately what you want. Yeah. And that's how we treat punishment. I don't yeah. want that. I don't have to sort of, like, be a quote bad girl in not a great way and be a little bratty and be disrespectful to get the spanking I want. The spanking I want, I can actually go ask for. Hey, I would mm-hmm. really like this kind of spanking. Can we do that? True. I don't have to act out. And if the only way I got a certain type of um, attention was to act out, that's a problem somewhere along the yeah. line. There's a miscommunication somewhere. Mm-hmm. So for us, punishment is a deterrent. And, and yet there are some relationships that like that you mm-hmm. know the someone having a bratty sure attitude and, and and you know that's what they enjoy on both and sides I would still say that still is on the level a little bit of punishment if the point mm-hmm. is to be bratty so then you're pushing against sort of the bound not the boundaries in like a limits way but like i'm pushing back against the dom because i need to know you're you've got the control and the power and you're strong enough to do this and i know that me pushing means there will be consequences and i'm okay with that like maybe 
I think some brats are definitely thinking about it in those terms, and maybe mm-hmm. some brats aren't. They're just kind of going off in, intuition and instinct. Yeah. I would I would love for brats to think about that, to think about the why of why you do something. Mm-hmm. Because from my perspective on the outside looking in, that's still punishment because it's a bit of a game that you're playing. Yeah. I'm a bratty person, which is fine. I'm pushing for my reasons that I'm pushing. I know that I'm going to get the consequence, and the consequence isn't a deterrent. Mm-hmm. So even if I don't like the consequence, it's part of the game. Does that not make it punishment? Mm-hmm. Here's what I would say. If you or someone you care about is in that kind of position, and you identify in a kind of a bratty way, and you do that push thing, how would you define it? Because from the outside looking yeah. in, that that's what how I would see it. Mm-hmm. That's how I would interpret it for myself. To, my, to brats out there, tell me how you interpret it. That's what I'd like to know. Because I do know a few brats who are constantly being punished. And the dynamic's healthy because it's their bratty behavior. Yeah. But they always have this like cheeky little smile like, yeah, I got in trouble. And I didn't like getting in trouble, but I'm totally going to do it again. Do it again. And I'm like, by definition, is that not punishment then? Because... Yeah. It did I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. I would love to know what y'all think about it. <laughs> how y'all think about punishment and punishment and mm-hmm. punishment as deterrence. Do you use punishment in your power exchange? Why or why yeah. not? Did you once do it and then you went no thank you? Did you once go no thank you and now you're like, "Well, maybe." What kind of punishments do you use if yeah. you use them? We are pretty simple. Corner time mm-hmm. and the spanking I don't like. <laughs> Which just makes me sad because spankings are supposed to be wonderful and lovely. Who wants one that you don't want? No, thank you. I'd much rather just be a good girl. <laughs> that's just way easier to me. Way easier to me. So that's how we handle punishment. Yeah. In and our and you know, change. talking about things that need to be done, I'm reminded of some sheets in the bedroom I that know. need to be folded. Those baby sheets girl. that need to be folded are mocking me. I'm like, oh, I yeah. totally need to fold those sheets. Because uh-huh. if I don't, then there will be consequences. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I should probably do that. Mm-hmm. So maybe after after this video, those sheets might get folded at some point. Yeah. That'd we'll be, see. That'd be a good thing. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, we love a thumbs mm-hmm. up. If you'd like more insight into one kinky couples power exchange life and how we do it consider subscribing Mm -hmm. and there's always that notification bell ring that bell and get updates when we have new content just do it daddy says and (laughs) if you really like what we do want more of it want to help us do more of it join us over on patreon patreon.com slash kayla lords bye